Hello, welcome back to our part two of our exam two practice problems here. So we're going to get going right away into question number four. So in question number four, um, things to look at. I want you not to look at the actual problem with part A. Take that away for just a second. If we look at the problem here, you're going to see a couple things that we need that, that are keywords. That we have a distribution of calorie intake is approximately normal. Anytime you see a distribution of the calorie intake that's approximately normal, you should automatically think a normal distribution is going to give you a bell-shaped curve. That is a horrible bell shape. Once again, I'm not a, an artist by any stretch of the imagination. And when we have a normal distribution with bell-shaped curve, we're going to have a mu value. And then we also know that we can go out standard deviations from the mean. And this uh, will tell us where they fall you know, in percentiles for us. So right away from just the very first part, we already have our mu and our standard deviation in calories. So now, now going back to part A here, if we look at part A, so what's the probability of randomly selecting a participant in this new program that consumes more than 2,750 calories? Keywords here, more than. So we already know this is going to be greater than our value. We'll come back to that in just a second. But we want to find a value of this person here. Key things between chapter 7 and chapter 9. In chapter 7, we're looking at a Z score. In chapter 9, we look at Z test. Formulas are very similar, and you're doing majority of the time the same things. The difference is we're looking at an individual. So this is an individual, right, on a bell-shaped curve for chapter 7. Where does this person lie on the bell-shaped curve? Or if we go to chapter nine, we're looking at a group of individuals and where they fall compared to other groups or other standards. And that's what we're doing in statistics. So we're starting off with an individual and normal distribution where they fall, chapter seven. Chapter nine, we're moving to comparing different group, a group of people to another group. And then as we move forward, we're gonna be comparing even different groups or multiple groups and then seeing how they go. And that's where we're going with statistics. So since we know this is a normal distribution and we're trying to find a certain value of a participant that eats more than 2750 calories, we're finding a z, a z score. So our z score is equal to x minus mu or the standard deviation. Well, our x here is the calories that this, these individuals eat. So it's 2750 minus our mu found here. Two, Four, five, oh. Realistically, we probably should be writing this off to the side so it's easier to see. And you don't have to hunt for it in all the words. But it is your choice. So we have x minus mu over to standard deviation. Remember to follow your orders of operation. Don't just throw this all into a calculator, or else you're going to have a bad time unless you know what you're doing with your parentheses. This is going to give you a value of 1.91. Okay, one thing you always consider, this is a z value, so this value is going to equal z. z, remember, is not a percent or a probability, right? This is a z. A z is just a, a z score is just a fancy way of saying how many standard deviations away from the mean is. So we're saying that someone who consumes uh, 2750 calories a day is 1.91 standard deviations away from the mean. Once again, write this equals the z. If you know this equals the z, now we have, we have a z score, so we can go to table B in the back. We go to table B in the back. We're going to go to table B in the back. And we're going to find the value or the, the, the percentile that 1.91 1 is uh, the, Z, the Z value of 1.91 percentile there. If we do that, you get 0.9719. Now remember, everything in table B, I remember I, I first I called it your best friend, and it, it's now bigger than your best friend. It's now table Beyonce. Because table Beyonce tells us everything from that value and to the left. Everything from that value and to the left. Table Beyonce, you'll never forget it. And if you find the value of everything to the left, that's less than. Left is less than. But we're trying to find more than, greater than. So when we're trying to find greater than that, we're trying to find the probability of a value in it being greater on this part. Remember, table B tells us everything from this value to the left. Table B, table Beyonce. So now we know that if we want to find greater than this, we take 1 minus 0.9719, and that equals 0.0281. There you go.
part B is what's the probability of selecting a participant that consumes between these values. So once again, we're going between these values. So we're going to try to we're going to find the probability at each of these values and then subtract them from each other. So we're setting up two uh, z, z scores and then find the probability and subtracting them from each other. Once again, this kind of looks like this. If we're trying to find a probability here and that that probability tells us that value to the left and then another one from here all the way to the left, when we subtract this this part out, we're left with what's in between, which is what we're trying to do. So we set this up as 2200 minus 2450 over our standard deviation. We're going to get that equaling negative 1.59. Remember, that equals your z. We're going to go from our z to table b. When you go to table b in the back, it's going to give you value of probability of 0 0.0559. Then we're going to go and do our other value of 2700 minus our mean 2450 divided by our standard deviation. That's going to give us a value of 1.59. Remember, that's going to equal our z, so we want to, want to go to the table B in the back at 1.59. It's going to be 0.9441. We're going to take these values and subtract them from each other, so 0.9441 minus 0 0.0559, and you're going to get a value of 0 0.8882, and that is your probability of selecting participants between this calorie intake, which, when you think about it, if, or if you look at the mean, you have a value above and below, um, pretty far out, a little bit more than our standard deviation, so it's going to encompass 88% of participants there. On to number five. So this one we're talking about age, um, and we have, well, once again, our mean and a standard deviation, and we want to find what's the probability of selecting an individual at 39 years or older. So we're looking at an individual. Um, we're going to age is normally distributed, and we're trying to find this individual on a bell-shaped curve. So we're going to do our Z uh, score again. Um, oh, one key thing. So we're selecting an individual that is 39 years of age or older. So when we're going older, it's going to be, once again, a greater than. So we're looking for a greater than. And then everything in table B is everything to the left and less than that. So we already know that we're going to find, want to find greater than that value. So we're going to take our x minus mu, so 39 minus 37.5 divided by our standard deviation of 6.2 and we're going to get a value of 0 0.2419. Remember, this is equal to z. It's your z value. Key thing here, do not round. So right here, I know our, our book only goes two decimals deep, so we're just going to say that's 0.24. That's what you're looking at. If for some reason you had a value and it's 1.6666, let's say, repeating, right, all the way across, do not round that to 1.67 because you're rounding in the middle of a problem, and that's we don't round in the middle of a problem. So when you're looking at these, these scores in the back, take it just how they are. Do not round in the middle of a problem. When you find um, this is our, our, our Z score, so we're now going to go to table B and find out our probability. And we find that to be 0.5942. And then we're, since we're finding the older than this, right? we want to find that value in greater than it. And this in table B is that value and everything less than that. So we're going to go 1 minus 5.5942. And that's going to equal 0.4052. That is your answer. Selecting the probability of someone between 32 and 36. So we're doing the uh, same thing here. We would set up our uh, problem. To, we're setting up two um, like we were doing up here in problem B, we're selecting, selecting two uh, participants and we're doing two z-score values. So you're going to take your x minus your mu, so 32 minus your mu of 37.5 over the standard deviation of 6.2. You can get your z-value, and then also you're going to get uh, your next problem, would be 36 minus 37.5 over... 6.2 and get your other z value. I am running out of time, so I'm going to uh, uh, finish this one up.
uh, real quick and then go, come back to it in the uh, next video. I will see you all.